This is just a quick little tutorial. If you open up the computer, um, you will want to open ProPresenter. This is for the new pre-reel. Here's ProPresenter. What I've got in here right here is this is the old pre-reel video just in case it gets hectic and crazy and this the new pre-reel doesn't work. You can just click on the old pre-reel and there it goes to whatever time you want with the video or the audio is set there. Um, the new pre-reel is right here under this purple heading called pre-reel. It has two documents, the pre-reel start and then the slides. Basically, this is going to allow you to throw in whatever slides you want each morning as well as whatever songs for the playlist that you want. It is going to run in two different apps right now, Spotify for the audio and ProPresenter for the visual. All you have to do is click this one slide right here where it says start. And this is the preview for Christmas. As soon as you hit start, as soon as you click this, it automatically will start running through these slides. It also will automatically start counting down to 11.04 a.m. So here's the countdown. Now it will not do really big 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 right here on the screen. I can do that later, but for quicks, quick sake, this is, this is all it's gonna do. It's gonna count down from whatever time you hit start to 11.04 a.m. That's why right now it says it's 20 hours, 18 minutes, and 45 seconds because it's 2.45 in the afternoon. Um, this will continuously go through these slides. If you want a new announcement or a new slide, you can just drag the image and drop it right in here. As soon as this is over, um, well, you're also going to want to open up Spotify, which is down here, and Pre-Real Christmas is the playlist, and you just hit play. Now, typically what we do, um, so we don't have to mess up the sound board, when we are using Spotify as the pre-reel at Fuse, we use this right here, this little volume, and we fade that volume, and then hit stop. And we, we fade that there, just so we don't have to hit the button um, or mess with that sound over there. Of course, it actually doesn't matter, because Jesse's going to be playing live. Um, all right, and then these slides, you'll need to just hit clear all right there. That's going to clear all the slides and the background slides, and then you will go into the first song. And so say this is his first song right here, What a Friend, you can move into there. Um, and that's the end of that. If you're not sure how to put in songs into the Sunday Live playlist, it's right here. And you go to the library and you type whatever song. So if Jesse wants yes and amen, you search for it right here. There it is. It's already in. You just take it and you drag it and you drop it in whatever order you want. So that would be the first one in worship. Let's say hallelujah. Or we'll just say cornerstone. That would be the second song. Um, desert song would be after announcements. And then he's going to end with... How Great Thou Art, and I would drag it right there. Contiguous means it's going to show everything in your playlist, and if you unclick it, it only shows whatever you're highlighted on. So that would be Sunday's full playlist. Um, however, the message right here, Sermon Thankful, that's last week's um, sermon so John will need to go in there and edit those slides or delete them. John, if you're watching this and you want to delete these slides, highlight Sermon Thankful. Go to Editor and just come down here and delete them. Or add new ones right down here. There's a new one. Or just select it and delete it. Make sure it's blue, okay? And it automatically saves. However, I usually come up here and hit save all um, just for a backup. I'm trying to think if Jesse changes his song, just select it and delete it. It's not totally gone. It's still here in the library. You're just deleting it from the Sunday Live. 
I'll do one more quick little video to show you how to upload a song in case Jesse is going to do new songs. Actually, he's probably going to do a lot of new songs um, because it's Christmas. So I'm going to end this video and do another short one on how to import lyrics.